Hello YouTube students, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at absolute value inequalities. In particular, I want to look at the question, graph the solution set of absolute value of 5x minus 2 is greater than 3. Now before we get started, we're going to need the definition of absolute value of x. We have that the absolute value of x is equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 0, and we have that the absolute value of x is equal to negative x if x is less than 0. Really all this means... The best way to look at this is in terms of an actual example. When we have absolute value of 6, most of you already know that this answer is 6. But what does this mean? We're taking the absolute value of 6, and 6 falls into this category. 6 is greater than or equal to 0. So we just simply rewrite whatever the input is. But in this example, absolute value of negative 6, what does this give us? We have an x value that is less than 0. So the absolute value of x when x is negative 6 is equal to negative negative 6 which when we have a negative of a negative becomes a positive so this is why absolute value of negative 6 by definition equals positive 6 so now we're going to use this definition to solve this problem and then one more thing we want to focus on if a is greater than b then negative a is less than b really all this is saying is that when we divide or multiply an inequality by a negative on both sides the inequality sign is going to flip so we're going to need that also. So let's go ahead and get started with this now. We have the absolute value of 5x minus 2 is greater than 3. But remember, we could have two conditions. We have that either 5x minus 2 is greater than 3, or we have that negative 5x minus 2 is greater than 3. This is how we could evaluate this absolute value into two conditions when the input is 5x minus 2. So now let's go ahead and solve this inequality first. We're going to add 2 to both sides. And now we have that 5x is greater than 3 plus 2. So we have 5x is greater than 5. Now let's solve for x. We go ahead and we divide by 5. These 5's cancel. And we have that x is greater than 5 divided by 5, or x is greater than 1. This is going to tell us one piece of our solution. Now second, we need to evaluate negative 5x minus 2. Well, one thing we could do is distribute this negative. In some sense, there's really just a negative 1 sitting outside this parentheses. So we have negative 1 times a positive 5x is equal to a minus 5x, and we have negative 1 times a negative 2 is a positive 2. And keep in mind, this is greater than 3. So now to solve this, what do we need to do? We need to subtract 2 from both sides. The goal is to isolate x. We have 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. And on this side, we have, so now we have minus 5x is greater than 3 minus 2, so minus 5x is greater than 1. Now to get x alone, what do we need to do? We need to divide by negative 5. So when we divide by a negative, remember this sign, this inequality is going to flip. So on the left hand side, now all we're left with is x, but instead we have x is less than negative 1 fifth. So now to graph our solution, what we need to do is we go ahead and construct a number line. So we have our number line, and we could put some points around it, but really all that's important is our critical points. And we're looking at, let's say we call this negative one-fifth. We go ahead and we make an open circle, because keep in mind we are not including the point negative one-fifth. When it's strictly less than, that means do not include the endpoint. Okay, so now we're going to shade everything less than negative one-fifth. So we're shading everything in this direction. And now what is the other side? We have that x is greater than a positive one. So we go ahead and we locate the point one. And remember it's going to be an open circle in this case also because we have that x is strictly greater than one. One cannot be greater than itself, so that's why we do not include this endpoint here. And everything greater than will go in the direction this way. And this would be a graph of our solution set. If they wanted set builder notation, we would say that the solution to this would be all x values such that, and we would have x is less than negative one fifth, or x is greater than positive one, and close the brackets. So these two forms here would sufficiently represent the problem that we just solved. Okay, well this is going to conclude this problem as well as this video. Thank you all for watching and I hope that it was helpful.